go to the supermarket and pick up some food. Definitely, definitely in need, some, need of some protein. I've cooked up the last of my kangaroo and I haven't had any egg whites in like ages because I just can't be fucked going and getting them. And actually the last two times I've tried to get egg whites, uh, they've been sold out. Guys, guys that live in Australia, do we have bags, like bulk egg whites, like to buy? Because all I can find are these little cartons and they're pretty expensive so you know if I could get some from this frozen section or something then that would be good but I always go to Coles so I'm thinking today I'll go to Woolworths and see what they've got um, so yeah egg whites fucking go cunt what are you doing um, egg whites turkey breast um, shit what else kangaroo I'll get probably some chicken breast as well and some more carb sources so I'm pretty much out of oats uh, most of my things of rice are gone so and no tuna so those are you know the, my staple foods peanut butter has gone I'll get some of that might get some sweetener um, fruit bread no I've got heaps of bread at home and actually I haven't even been eating it I bought heaps of loaves and I've been eating I've, I've been rathering rice or oats um, instead of bread so I know about gluten and what it does to you so I'm, I'm not staying gluten free but I'm sort of getting away from the breads um, I actually like gluten free bread I don't know about you guys but gluten free bread is actually quite nice it's just the loaf it's so expensive so much more expensive than your normal bread so but actually in saying that if you buy a nice loaf from the bakery it's probably going to be about the same price so I don't know anyways here now so let's go on Re really not sure whether I can be one of those guys that vlogs in front of everyone in the supermarket but let's see how we go might go there later Every time I used to come to the supermarket, I used to be obsessed with finding treats that would fit my macros. So half of my trolley full of food would, would be shit. But nowadays I'm more content to just go with your whole foods, your whole, whole good food, good food sources that are delicious at the same time, but a lot more nutritious than the, the treats that I used to try and buy. So, you know, for sweet things I'll have flavoured oats or I'll have fruit chocolate I don't really have too much chocolate these days anything with chocolate on it the calories go through the roof we all know that uh, so yeah but this is pretty much what I'm gonna get and it'll last me a few days at least and uh, yeah pretty happy with that so we'll see how much it is bruh 
I haven't had this shit in ages. Can't forget the tuna. Look at that nice clean car, man. That's clean. That's clean. Seriously, my car does look super clean. All right, let's get on this shit. There it is. Published on the website. Into your client login. Okay, what's my client login? I wonder if there is anything bad, and this is, fuck, this is, uh, this is the time, I'm not expecting there to be, but, 17954, shit, I've never even read one of these before, so, fuck, I just got really nervous just then, building inspection report, downloading, pest inspection report, downloading, all right, we'll do pest report first. Timber pest inspection report. Two-story townhouse, brick veneer with rendered finish. A garage is attached to the dwelling. A pergola is attached to the dwelling. Building constructed on concrete slab. Roof covering, concrete tiles. Property was built in 2001. Weather condition, fine. Summary of areas inspected. The inspection covers the following readily accessible areas. Building exterior, roof exterior to lower level, roof void, building interior, gap. This may require the moving blah, blah, blah. In some instances, it may also require the removal of ceiling and wall linings and the cutting of traps and access holes. Well, that, oh, fucking hell, that ain't gonna happen. Fuck off. Summary of findings. This summary is not the report. The following summary must be read in full in conjunction with the report. Okay. Active termites found. No visible evidence. It should be noted that even if a risk factor is high, this is not meant to deter a purchaser from purchasing the property. It is just to make them aware that increased vigilance is warranted and any recommendations regarding reducing conductive conditions or frequency of inspections could be, should be headed by a property owner. Alright guys, I'll be real with you guys. This is the first time that I've actually thought, thought twice about actually doing this. So I looked through the pest report, I think, pretty sure it's only, only to do with the fence, so I'm actually going to give him a call just to make sure. And now I'm on the building report, so just reading through this, which I hope will be good. No visible e evidence of structural damage. No major defects. Yes, minor defects, yes, there are minor defects. No safety hazards. Property appears to be well maintained. A comparison of this and other dwellings of similar age, construction and level of maintenance would rate this building as above average. Most areas, elements are well maintained and show a high standard workmanship. Important. The building rating, the building rating noted above is only a generalisation, taking into account numerous factors and should be read in conjunction with the notable items in main report, which I'm going to get to now. External walls, overall condition, good. Window sills, overall condition, good. Eaves, overall condition, good. Fascia, overall condition, good. Gutter, overall condition, good. Downpipes, overall condition, good. Pergola, general condition of pergola is good. 
floor type and condition. General condition of floor appears to be good. Okay, that was some fucking hard reading, but it was all good. Structural damage. Compa structural damage to this building comparis in comparison to the average condition of similar buildings of approximately the same age and construction and that have been reasonably maintained is considered to be typical. So that's all right. Major defects in the building compared to others in the same category. Typical. Minor defects in the building. Lower than expected. Conditions conductive to structural damage are typical. In conclusion, a comparison of this and other dwellings of similar age, construction, and level of maintenance would rate this building as above average. Most areas are well maintained and show a high standard of workmanship. Thing. Right. Okay. All right. So that's done. It's all done. But I'm just going to ring him up and see what he says, to be honest. I'm just going to ask him his... His... his you know, straight up opinion of the property. The report looks all good to me. So let's find out what he says. Hello? Yeah, hi, is that Peter? Yeah. Hey mate, um, my name's Jacob. I I, uh, I got a pest and building inspection done yesterday on a property um, on Secondary Street. Oh yeah, Secondary Street, yeah. Yeah, I think you might you might have been the one that, that carried that out. Yeah, well I did. Um, I Cool. Well, well, it's actually, I'm reading through it now. It's my first property and building inspection. I mean, uh, pest and building inspection. So I'm sort of reading it through. It all looks pretty good to me. I just wanted to clarify a couple of things. That's all. Okay, that's all right. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Jacob. Um, so obviously, overall, it says above average, which which is good. Um, is there anything you, you, you think I should be concerned about, man? Just, just straight up. Um, yeah. I mean, no, 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 it's, it, it's all good. Yeah, the external walls are good. There's yeah. no cracks, no cracks anywhere. Um, up, uh, the first floors, um, uh, all, all the first floors, um, fibre cement rendered. But they've only got brickwork rendered up to the floor, just the first floor. Right. Now, above that, the, above that is, um, all the external walls. Are right then, well, uh, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, thanks for your help. Okay. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. See you later. Talk to you later. See you, mate. Bye. Bye. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's do this. End of the day. The only rot is on the left-hand side of the fence. There's one post that you can go like that, and it's it's obviously rotted underneath, so I'm going to need to replace that. Nothing inside that needs worried about. Um... The overall condition of the property is above average and I'm going to ring the real estate agent right now and confirm that that has all been done. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought you might be, might be fixed it, so I wasn't uh, too worried. Just thought it would be good to touch base. Yeah, yeah. No, everything's all good, man. I've I've just been um yeah. waiting for this inspection to come through and had a yes. chat to the guy, and um it was all a bit of gibberish to me, but I did get through it, and it's all good. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the reports are quite com uh, you know quite full on. But, yeah. Um, the basic upshot of it was he said it was really tidy. Yeah. Well, it. it you know, at the end of the day, it was above average, so um, that's yep. that's good. Quite funny because when the tenant went out, he said, "Well, since I'm looking after the property, I've got a guy that'll that'll touch up the paint and do the carpet clean." He said, "Oh, we'll do all of that just to look after the 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 vendor's investment." Oh, really? Well, that's and nice. I thought, that's, <laughs> I thought that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah. No, it is. That's for sure, man. That's what that's what. So, yeah, yeah so well ho hopefully I'll actually be coming down um, uh, in May so oh, cool. yeah so that'll be my first first opportunity to have a look and stuff and catch up so that'll be good awesome okay that sounds really good because I can meet you there as well yep that'll be want. good yeah yeah of course yeah definitely be nice to meet you yeah and um, 
then I'd even be able to introduce you to the to the guy that's looking after it as well. And yep, that that's that'll definitely happen, man. We'll um organise that. That would be really cool. Yeah. But no, you've got, you've got an absolute beauty, so I'm, I'm just really pleased for you. So well done. Thanks, for, thanks, man. Thanks very much. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we'll just uh leave it at that, and I will get in touch with the conveyancer and transfer yes. the money, and I'll let you know. Um, on Tuesday, okay. what's going on? Perfect. Well done. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. Have a good Easter. All right, mate. Yep. You too. All right. Have a Cheers good one. Cracking. See you, buddy. You too. Bye. Bye. All right. So Tuesday, I transfer the money. Goes unconditional. Then I go away on holiday. And then I come back and I own my very first investment property. We getting it. We getting it, bah. We getting it. I'm excited. I'm excited. And actually right here, I'm actually just editing some video. Um, <laughs> you guys won't believe this. I, I've got the entire vlog from like two weeks ago. All of my footage that I've edited, everything um, put together. So two weeks of footage is four hours and 39 minutes worth of footage. So I'm thinking, how many episodes is that going to be? Or am I going to have to fucking trim it a little bit? I think I am, eh? I think I've like covered the same thing over and over, but I'm sure you guys will, will tell me. Who knows when this video is going to come out? I'm probably, I'll probably already own the house by the time this video comes out, which is going to be weird. But I want to make these episodes good with content I want to make uh, I wanted to make sure I had content to make shit because the last thing you want is to be struggling for content and you're already in a series and it's like you got to keep going and stuff and of course the fact that I still need to get shredded so if I don't actually end up getting shredded well this video is not going to come out so yeah anyways so I can tick that off the list got a little list here Clean room, done. Bank loan documents, done. Pay for inspection, done. Ring real estate agent, done. Clean car, done. Pay the $10,000, that is Tuesday. And do up YouTube thumbnails. Well, that's just gonna keep, keep getting pushed back. That is a fucking mission and a half. I think I've got like 180 videos now, so I'm planning on making a new thumbnail, like a uniform sort of thumbnail with the same font and everything for every single one of my videos so that when people look through the videos um, they see that they're all uniform they see me as a legitimate channel and um, it's it's all the better for that so I'm gonna get onto that probably later but um, yeah fuck finally it's like 5.30 now it's been a big day walking around doing shit but I'm really glad I took today off. I needed it. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna go to the gym soon. But not sure what I'm gonna train. Fuck, I never know what I'm gonna train. It's actually leg day. So I'm gonna put some tights on and head to the gym, do some squats. That sounds good. Let's do this. Man, it looks good when it's clean. I love my car. So, if you look behind me guys, that little box is apparently meant to be the complex gym. So it's, it's shot up in about two weeks, it's only taken them, hasn't taken them long to do it at all. And actually these ones over here were like nothing about a month ago, so they've really put them up quite quick to be honest. But there's still a lot more. A lot more work to go. It'll be amazing when the whole thing's done.